for joining us on a very special interview with Herbert Swartz of Torah Tech. Herbert, thanks for joining us. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I'd like to start off by asking you, what was your motivation or influence in starting Torah Tech? It's really a long time ago. It's been, I think, in the middle of the 80s when I started traveling around, a little bit around the world, around Africa. I had a lot of ideas of accessories that didn't exist at this time. I had to make them on my own. And later on, people asked me, where can I buy it? I said, no, it's handmade for me. And they asked me just to, to make it for them as well and to sell it to them. And then in the late 80s, I had the idea, maybe it would be an idea to, to start a company, a little company to, to make it official. Obviously, you take a lot of pride in, in, in your work and, and the products that you produce. Why is it so important that you produce these in Germany, right here in Germany? Yeah, we are a company from Europe, like that we like to produce in Europe. And the nearer the better. And we are here in the Black Forest in Germany and we have the possibility to control the quality. And we know it's really made from people that have the enthusiasm for the product, for the quality, and that's what we, we like to have. Um, is there, is obviously you have a favorite of the, of the product line, Wh which is yours? Of course, now it's the panniers, the Sega panniers that are really completely made in our factory. But we started with a motorcycle computer with electronics, and I have especially made for me a uh, tank bag for photographic equipment for my camera, and that's also a part that I really like. How do you test the products like the Ziga cases that you make? We are doing a test trip once a year. I go on an yeah, adventure trip for at least four weeks. There we are testing it hard. We get new ideas. And the second is we have a race team for enduro races. And you can be sure that products that have been used in these races that are really good for off-road trips around the world. And as you mentioned, you have a special tank bag made for, for your lenses and cameras yeah. and whatnot. So this, from my understanding, this is a big hobby of yours. And how does how do you work the two photography with Touratech? How do they come together? It was really a hobby for me, the photography. I started when I was seven years old. And now for Touratech, it's it's brilliant idea to go on a test ride to have the results from the test and to have fantastic pictures from yeah, foreign countries from the places where we use our products and from really yeah, from the journey you obviously see these in the catalog and the dvds that you produce and whatnot for um, the, the trips that you've taken um, a lot of that plays a part in that. Most of the, the pictures that are made from, from Ramona, my mm -hmm. wife, or from myself. Do you, do you have a particular brand or model of motorcycle that you prefer? <laughs> it depends a little bit on the trip I'm doing. If I make a real off-road adventure trip beside the, the, uh, the, the passes, uh, the routes, then I take the F800GS from BMW. Mm -hmm. If it's more or less on unpaved roads or paved roads, even here in Europe, it's a 1200 years. It's a more powerful engine and yeah, I love this bike. Mm -hmm. And now for the moment, my favorite bike is a 1200 GS Adventure with a sidecar <laughs> that I can take my, my two little kids that are two and three years old to have them with us on the trip. I bet that's fantastic to see. <laughs> and one more question. Um, what would you say is the, the most favorite or most memorable trip that you've taken on the bike, on the motorcycle, the 800, 1200, or...? There are two trips that I really have in my heart now. It's been, I think it's been in 2006, from Canada to Mexico off-road on an a BMW HP2. Mm -hmm. And the trip was so fantastic because I first met my wife there and she came with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And the most adventurous trip was a journey from Togo in 
Western Africa to Kenya and Eastern Africa and to pass through Nigeria to some other countries to Congo, Zaire. That was hard road, but fantastic people, fantastic experiences. But it was really difficult to, to go there. And mm. I think in the middle of Congo, Zaire, I broke my leg mm -hmm. and there were no doctors and I had mm. to continue. But it, it went well and I have good ex uh, uh, memories on oh, this trip. That's perfect. <laughs> well, th thanks again for, for the interview and uh, hope Pleasure. everybody enjoyed that. <laughs>